It's only five o'clock and it's pretty dark. Welcome back to Bailey Hooker Guernsey Shipwrecks. I'm going to go night diving. But close to the shore this time, I'm going to go and see if I can find any squid or any fish. I'm going to go along Havlet Wall as well. It's scary enough during the day, so we're going to go during the night. See if there's any congas poking their heads out. Let's get going. We're off. Another night dive. Red light, red light, are oh, you blinding me? Journey day. So what exactly are we going to do here? It's easy yeah. to gear up. Well, we're going to go south, yep. west, east, back to the boat. And hopefully we see squid or squid. something cool. Well, definitely going to see something cool because everything comes out at night. We know this. The freaks come out at night. This could be rubbish. It could be really good. Yeah. But for oh, Molly's benefit, good. it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be good because we're going to be in the water diving. He's clear. Go on, into the abyss. See the torches on. Oh, the torches on. It's like a lightsaber, that thing. Look at it, look. May the force be with you, Obi-Wan. Don't get in the way of it. Sometime. There goes Matt, he's going down the uh, mooring line. Happy days. I love the look of that. So look, so tranquil, eh? Going oh, down through blue water. Yeah. Just blow your torch. Right. right, we better get ready to go. So we're basically leaving the boat on the mooring and we'll go down and swim around. It's quite a bit of swell rolling, but it's not too bad. So let's get going. Here we go, into the dark, me and Phil. As we head down into the depth of 11 metres, we can see the other boys on the bottom from miles away. It means the fizz is going to be quite good. I was expecting it to be a little bit milky, given that there's a bit of swell on the boat, but it looks absolutely fine.
Looks like there's a bit of squid action already. Did you see near Matt's torch? A big puff of black ink. Just turn around and check where my dive buddy is. He's okay, he's beyond me. Search his arm for any sea luff whatsoever. The trick is with these sort of dives is look for the smallest things. They're normally the most interesting and you don't see them as much. We can relax now and take our time. Although there's scallops down here, we're not here to collect scallops. So today, we're not going to take any. Phil's going ahead scouting out with his torch. My torch is okay for filming stuff, but it doesn't really push right out into the dark. Check out this rat, he's fast asleep.
one species that's really stood out on this dive is these red mullet. They're everywhere. These two are quite big. Here you can see a lady crab right in the gap of Havlet Wall. As I glance up, I can see the head torch of one of the fishermen right up on the wall. So, it's about time we turned and retreated. We don't want to be in their fishing grounds. Too many to carry in my hand now, so I'm going to get my bag out and put these inside my bag. I know I'm going to regret this because they're going to stick in the netting. Take a look in Paul's light right now. You can see the laws of someone's fishing rod. Matt's tying on another two squid jigs onto the end. Imagine what they're going to think when they pull it up. Some crazy fools trying to catch me now. Don't worry, there's not enough breaking trade in that line to catch me. What's this evil looking thing? <laughs> this is one thing you're never prepared for. You're swimming along and you see your mates and all of a sudden there's loads more torches that start coming towards you. <laughs> there's some more divers down here. We're now back to the mooring chain, which our boat's on. 
So we'll have a swim around the bottom just to use up the last of our air and then we'll surface. Just as we're about to pack it in and go back up to the boat, Phil notices this little beauty. It's a Cooch's brain. Named after Jonathan Cooch. Jonathan Cooch was a Cornish naturalist. He lived from 1789 to 1870 and he discovered this species in British waters. These things can grow pretty long, almost up to a metre. This one's just a baby still. Look at the iridescence on its fins. Take a look at the size of the tail compared to the size of the body. This is a small but powerful fish. Considering we don't do many of these, that was pretty good, eh, Matt? That was really, really good. Yeah. Seen a lot of life. Thoroughly enjoyed that. All sorts, just the little things with uh, the shore dives. Just take your time and just stare at the littlest things. The big fish are nice, there's so much red mullet in there, eh? There's red mullet oh, everywhere. red mullet everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, little feelers like that. Yeah, the old uh, barbs. Having a feed. Some big ones as well. So, there's Castle Corner. Out the stern window. Yeah, we got divers just in the water here, I think, Matt. Yeah. There they are, look, they're on the surface as well. So, randomly, we were down there, we were down there, and uh, some more divers just started flashing, doing the circle sign. We're like, hey, hang on, there's four of us. Must be more people down here. So, some people had the same idea we did. And there's another, there's another boat, another boat on anchor to our port side. Probably 25 metres away. So we're not going to move until uh, their divers are out of the water because you can't see them in the dark. But where are they? They're just here, look. On the end of my red hand. Finger looks like a hot dog. Foot long. So, uh, here's the other boat. We're going to head in. I think I've done quite well on uh, retrieving fishing gear. Right. Scallops, yes. Tell you what, we could have caught some scallops. They were lucky scallops. Sure. We, did no one bring any scallops up? Ah, no, me. <laughs> oh, lucky, lucky scallops. <laughs> Keeney's going to be watching this, what screaming at us. <laughs> you head out towards his stone, you should be alright, Matt. Right, we're heading back in now. You probably noticed there, these people that are on the wall here have tried squid jigging us. I think I got it on camera. They're lucky we didn't grab it, because we would have just ripped it off if we had grabbed it. Unless they had 200 pound monofilament on, then it would have been a different story. Jerry! getting the hooks out of the bag John. Yeah I know I was just thinking that. Well right, there's one uh, one squid jig. Not a bad one. There's loads more in here but yeah. they are gonna be well, yeah they're gonna be stuck in my bag. One of them was half a ton I put the mono line in. Is that all of them? Maybe. Yeah, that's all today's finds. Favourite's that one. Cool. Nice one. Oh, look at that. Little uh, cud bottle with the stopper still in it. That's Very cool. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Quite happy with that. Anyway, that's the first of many. I think we're going to do a load more uh, um, 
Are they called shore dives? They're not really shore dives, are they? They're still off the boat, but they're shallow. Uh, not quite sure where we're going to go next. Where do you reckon next, Matt? Um, I reckon another wreck, yeah. Another wreck. And then so. we'll do a shore dive after that. Yeah. Proper short dive. Try and keep these Tuesday night uh, dives on the go. Anyway, thanks for coming along and I'll catch you on the next tide.